Hi guys, this is Pete Brini over at 136 Sterling Drive, adding the bathroom near the stairwell. Um, I'm going to send you this video and we'll see if it's good enough for inspection. If not, let me know what you need. Uh, first thing I want to show you is that I've been pressure testing the drain waste vent. This has held over 5 PSI for over two days now. And here I'm pressure testing the water, hot and water supplies. This has been holding over 60, close to 70 PSI for two days now. So I want to show you that first and we'll come back to it at the end of this video. And you'll see that still holding pressure. Uh, while we're up here, uh, here's the layout of the bathroom. 36 inch um, sink against this wall. The toilet is 36 inches on center from, from the sink. And then there's a good 18 inches from the center of the toilet to the to shower curb. Here's the shower, it's 60 inches uh, long by about 30 inches wide. I'm using the uh, that waterproof orange backer board. Two inch waist. And uh, here's the uh, hot and cold to the shower valve going up to the um, faucet head, the, the shower head. All the penetrations have uh, fire block. That's the toilet water supply. And uh, the hot and cold for the sink. I also wanted to point out that this wall is built on top of an existing two by six wall. The two by six wall behind here is the load bearing wall. This wall was just built for the, uh, for the plumbing, for the wet wall. The two by six wall sits on top of a beam in the basement. So I couldn't drill through that. So I built this uh, fake wall for all the plumbing to go in and out of. The vent stack goes up through the roof. I'll show you that at the end of this video. Oh, the electrical 120 amp service. Well, I'll put a GFI plug in there when we're done. All right, let's head to the basement. Here you can see that beam that the existing two by six wall sits on top of. The two by four wall I built on, on top of that sits off of that beam. The hot and cold supply of the shower the cold supply to the toilet and here's the hot and cold to the sink. I picked up the supply to the main house uh, feeds down there. Hot and cold shut off there. Again, I tapped in to the hot and cold uh, that fed the existing bathroom and kitchen. So you can see those valves are closed right now, holding in that 80 PSI air. Another thing you'll notice, here's the, the shower two inch trap. I didn't connect it yet to get to plug that shower for the air test. Obviously after the air test, I'll pull the plug off and I'll finish gluing that in place. As far as the drain go, here's the three inch, actually it's a four inch to three inch closet bend for the toilet. 
And that goes straight out the sill plate of the original house into the addition. From there, we branch off, pick up the sink and the main vent up through the attic. This is the exact plan I laid out for you guys in the beginning. Off of that, we have a Y combo to the shower. Out the, um, and there's the electrical. You see the electrical picking up that 120 amp outlet. And that also goes back to the addition here. <clears throat> Here's the three inch vent now. There's a clean out there. There's the 20 amp service again. The service comes over and goes straight to the panel in the addition. I'll finish that roughing at, uh, for you on final inspection. A three inch now comes down and comes out, takes a left and ties into the original addition stack. Three inch clean out here. You can see it, this is where I plugged it with one of those air bubbles. So I'm holding air pressure right now up until this point. This stack is original. I teed in here. And uh, we have a quarter inch per foot pitch. Down 45, down over 45, and down. There's also quarter inch pitch here. You can see that starts about two, three inches up on that stud, our floor joist. And by the time it gets here, it's just below the floor joist, about six inch span. Same thing here. Maybe it's better to see it this way. I know it's hard to tell, but there's about a, again, there's a quarter inch per foot drop there. Well, if you need to see anything else down here, please let me know. I'm gonna pause the video now. We'll go outside and see the vent stack. All right, outside of the house, you see up there on the roof, there's the vent stack that's currently capped off, holding that air pressure. Behind it is um, the new exhaust for the exhaust fan in that bathroom. And that's all we got. Again, if you have any questions, want to see something else, want to do the inspection a different way, let me know. I am hoping to at least get your approval to sheath the wall in the bathroom. Um, I, want, I want to get that shower stall uh, all the three walls up so I can start tiling that. I appreciate, give me a call if you need anything, 860-559-6232, thank you.